Okay, here we are with the last step, um, and we need to create the surface, so copy the spline and um, just delete the modifiers that are on it currently, and we're going to add an extrude modifier to it to just basically give it a surface. So then just rotate it, and uh, then it's in position, and uh, we're going to extend it and convert it into an editable uh, poly as well. Then just grab the edges. Um, yeah, make sure you uh, grab all of the edges um, before doing it. Uh, so select, deselect, and uh, then snap into position, and then that's good to go. And the way we're going to make that morph and change is using the skin modifier. So add that, and then we're going to add the different lines uh, as bones. So we can add them here. Um, you know, just by going in, is that spline okay for each one? and uh, spline 1, spline 2, etc. All, they're all set up there. So you can add spline, do it one at a time or add multiple ones as we're doing now. And once those bones um, have all been set up, um, really that surface is then good to go in terms of uh, animating uh, between the different states. So if we go to the timeline and scrub through it, uh, as you can see here, now it's morphing uh, over time uh, between the different um, different curve profiles, which is brilliant. That's exactly what we wanted. The tur turbo smooth modifier just makes it a bit smoother. Um, as you can see, it's then a, a bit nicer. Um, you can also adjust the keyframes of the movement uh, of these control splines so that the animation of the curve profiles happen at different times. Um, but you know, there's some flexibility there. You you will still have to focus on doing the materials um, and the foam and all that, but this gives you the idea of the curve profiles and um, hopefully that's helped.